Will the purpose of the gentleman from Virginia rise? Speaker, I ask the man consent to address the House. For one minute. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in these desperate economic times, Congress must undertake all of its actions with a watchful eye toward the effects on job creation. Yet this unmistakably has not been the case. From the stimulus bill that just did not get it right, to the cap and trade legislation, to now the ongoing effort to pass a health care bill in the backs of small business, the majority has put jobs on the back burner to muscle through an agenda, frankly, that is an anathema to the American people. Slapping an additional 8% payroll tax on struggling small businesses who can't afford to pay for insurance doesn't create jobs. It kills them. Imposing a 5% surtax on small businesses and America's producers doesn't hasten our recovery. It prolongs it. The American people deserve an agenda that puts jobs first. That is why we ask the majority to work with us. Republicans do have a plan that can expand affordable coverage in health care. It will allow you to keep what you have, not do it by squeezing small business. I urge the majority to begin with us. Let's start over. Let's get it right for the American people. Are you about